Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. And let's go ahead and get into today's set. So I have some new PR from Roslyn and I love this packaging. This packaging is always so very gorgeous and elegant to me. I also love these bottles with the white with the gold trimmer to it. It always comes with this same instruction pamphlet here where it has the picture directions and like picture uh, DIY nail art for you, which I find to be super, super, super helpful. And on the back, it always has the questions and answers. And the same little um, piece will come in each of the kits. <laughs> so it's 10 glow in the dark gels and i'm gonna just go ahead and show you the bottles they're six milliliters each and these are like really really light pastel shades but i wanted this particular kit just because they do glow in the dark and i've been wanting some glow in the dark um, gel polishes for some time just haven't really looked into it um but i did only thing i really didn't like about these is the fact that they were like pastels So we know I'm doing the 25 days of Christmas nail sets and that's one of the reasons why the pastels for me just didn't work because like I could I could definitely figure out a Christmas set to do with pastels because that's what I like to do. I like to go with a theme so like Halloween and then do like funky colors that people wouldn't think of even using for that traditional uh, setting and just make something really different and bomb but these were entirely too light so i'm just going in now and i'm doing the first coat of all of the shades and i'll show you them at the end with two coats but they're super super light um but they have a really nice glow effect too so early in the video i'm going to take my time just to say that i do hope everyone is having an amazing morning afternoon evening or night and i would like to thank anyone that takes their time to show up and support your girl and watch my videos it's greatly appreciated i'm thankful for you all if you're new to my channel welcome to the nail addict family and i thank you so so much for joining me on the nail journey and if you're watching right now and have not yet subscribed i would definitely love it if you join the family so go ahead and hit a, press the like on this video subscribe to the channel and hit your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets and if you've been subscribed y'all know i love y'all so so much and i just thank each and every one of you So this is all 10 shades swatched with two coats and I would like to thank Rosalind as always for sending over these products and I'll link the discount code down below for these gels. Not sure how long that lasts but everything will be down below and this is how they glow. My Christmas tree was on as well so you see a little lighting from there but later on in the video you'll be able to see it a little bit more better. If you're interested again everything will be linked down below. So jumping right into the set, I am mixing some Roslyn shades with that glow in the dark just to give it a bit of a brighter coloring for what I'm doing today. So this Roslyn gel I'm using um, as a base. So I'm just going to place a layer of this down on each of the nails and cure that for 30 seconds. I'll do the first coat on camera and do the second coat off camera curing that for 30 seconds as well. So I'm taking this glow in the dark shade here along with this orange and they're both orange so the glow in the dark shade is just like a really pastel light orange and then I have this other orange from another Rosalind kit and I'm going to place down the glow in the dark first because I'm mixing it just so that it actually gives a glow effect 
with the orange gel and again I wanted brighter colors for the design that I was going to do today the design is very simple but I thought it was super cute I think I saw it on Pinterest not sure but I'll put a picture up of my inspiration um, and I just thought it was perfect because it is Christmas lights and um, instead of doing the string of lights which I think is really cute and I'm pretty sure I'll do another set later on to incorporate Christmas lights um, I just felt like this one was really cute being that the gels glowed in the dark and I so I found that if I put more of the glow in the dark down versus the color it glows so my thumb I did off camera and it glowed but very minimal because I put a little bit more of the actual color in it versus the glow effect in yeah so it didn't really work out but the rest of these came out perfectly fine and you'll see that at the end when I do show the glow effect so these pastels basically worked out exactly how I want it um, so on each of the nails I'm doing the same thing just a different color so I'm taking my nail art brush and I am creating like a bulb so I use medium stiletto uh, full cover tips from K Kiara Sky because the bottom of this is like a perfect shape for a light bulb or a, yeah like a light bulb from the Christmas lights so the shape itself formed what I needed and that's you know the inspo picture same thing they use the lettos but I kind of rounded them out of it at the bottom just to make sure it gave that light effect I was looking for um, I did one color uh excuse me one coat of each uh, color on camera and then i would do the second coat off camera just to uh, build up the opacity but i'll let you continue watching so each shade i used so for instance the next one i'm doing is yellow so i would use like the pastel yellow from the glow in the dark and then the actual yellow from the Rosalyn kit I would put down the glow in the dark effect first a good amount of it and then place the yellow on top mix it really really well with my dotting tool and then apply the actual light and these came out amazing in my opinion now when I was doing this set I was like it was the night that I got sick so I started this set and I could not finish it and ended up having to finish it like I believe it was yesterday Tuesday as I was getting over my sickness so they didn't come out exactly how I want it it was a little like some of the line work I felt like could have been a lot better but hey I was sick and <laughs> trying to get this done and I'm not hurting myself so I, you know I don't want anyone to worry and say you know don't overdo it I pushed myself to finish this set just because um, me being in bed felt great, but I do have a life. I have work. I have kids. I have to get up and I have to keep going. So then the nails actually motivated me and made things a little bit better for me to get over the sickness. And I just, it just motivated me to get up and, you know, do something. And so I was able to finish two really quick sets on the day I was actually recovering just so I could have all my videos for the rest of this week because I definitely want to complete my 25 days of Christmas nails. It's just something that I've been wanting to do and yeah. So I was pr really proud of myself for pushing through and getting this done. But I'll let you finish watching me um, do the rest of the nails. Hey guys, so is there any like particular Christmas design you'd like to see me try or you want to see me do? If so, comment down below and let me know because I would also like to, you know, challenge myself to do anything that you guys may want to see me do. Maybe that I haven't done already for this Christmas season. So yeah, don't be afraid. Comment down below. Y'all know I love to talk. I love to interact with you all. So comment down below and give me some suggestions of videos and sets I can do for next week. So 
So once that was done, I'm now taking this Model One's Polish Glitter Silver because I didn't have like a glitter in a rosin um, gel that I could use that I felt would fit this actual set. So I'm just using that to create the screw in portion of the light bulb. And I felt like it went really, really well. So I'm just making like a square at the top of the bulb and I'm gonna fill that in. And then off camera, I do a second coat of that. So the first coat I do, I cure that and then do the second coat off camera on each of the nails. So once I got that set, I'm now using this Rosalind Black uh, gel polish and I'm just making the details of the light bulb. So outlining the screw in part and the outer portion of the light bulb itself on each of the nails. Once I get all of the outlining done, I cure it in my lamp for 30 seconds. And then just to give it a little extra oomph, I did use some right, what looks right, <laughs> some white rosalyn gel polish and I created like the reflex in the actual bulb on each of the bulbs. And once I get the white lines all set on all five of the nails, I'm going to cure that again for 30 seconds. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and top coat all of the nails and then I will go ahead and cure them again for 30 seconds. I did apply these with adhesive tabs and off camera I applied cuticle oil as well and I'll be back in just a moment with the final look. And here is the finished set. I feel like they came out really, really nice, although they were a little lighter than a typical uh, like Christmas light bulb, but they were really cute. Um, so all of the shades went really well. This thumb was the one that I put a little bit more of the blue in it that I should have, um, and it just kind of drowned out the glow in the dark effect. But overall, I really liked how these came out. Just a very nice, simple set for christmas so with my 25 days of christmas nail sets it's showing showcasing very simple nail art but also some intricate ones as well just a variety and this is how they look with the glow and they are amazing comment down below and let me know what you think of this nail set and if you've made it this far please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets i thank you for joining me today and much love to you all